driving him in a fucking tank? I'm like, what, what branch? Army. Army? Yeah, let's boo the people protecting us. Let's do that. Uh, woke up, had a, a, a couple meetings, and then, uh, and then I joined the army. <laughs> and then I had consensual sex with somebody. So that was a uh, pretty productive day. Uh, well, sorry to hear about your car. How do you feel about the alien information that came out? Okay, this is a good one. Does anybody actually give a shit when they saw it? How can you not? No, I know, I know, I know. Bro, they confirmed aliens are real. The fact that you guys are even still at a comedy show right now is insane. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Why you all aren't building bunkers right now doesn't make sense. I'm on your side. What? Yeah, because hey, duh. <laughs> the analogy I actually heard was the concept that Think about why we don't talk to ants, right? Like they're so underdeveloped yeah. as creatures. It's like, you know, you can't really have a, you can't really communicate with them. I don't think aliens think we're even ready to meet them. No. And we're not. Imagine aliens come down and are like men and women of Earth and somebody's like, some of us are neither. Shut up. That's exactly why I'm not talking to nobody in the back. You're thirsty. <laughs> Helen was minding her own business, being polite. What's your name? What is it? Rachel. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Everybody knows a bitch named Rachel, too. Everybody does. That's one of the most red flag names. Are you in school still? From where? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh my god. It's easier to be cancer than what you got. Oh my god. ASU, absolutely. Your pussy tastes like jungle juice. <laughs> there ain't no way I would ever date somebody from ASU. Nah. I'm alright. <laughs> Your pussy is just a beer pong cup at this point. Elbow. Anybody ever seen a ghost? What's under what circumstance? Yeah, it was it was it was a boy. It was a little boy. It was a little boy. <laughs> I'm invested. <laughs> what have you seen at the house? I just I saw a boy and a girl and a, and a man. A girl, a boy, and a man. Some people will call that a family. <laughs> <laughs> Were they related to you? Yeah, where do you live? What part of town is this? Western Shawnee. West, uh, Western Shawnee? Yeah. Oh, Kansas? Yeah. That checks out. Those were actually just Amish. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't even really ghosts. Those were just people just trying to deliver some furniture. <laughs> the Amish are the Ikea of the Midwest. They really are. <laughs> Western Shawnee, you say? <laughs> That's crazy. You never really hear of ghosts in trailer parks, do you? That's oh. mm. has, has anybody here ever, ever seen a ghost? Have you really? Yeah. What, what did you experience? Uh, I went to a haunted house where I grew up in Pleasant Hill, Missouri, which is very haunted. Now, when you say a haunted house, you make a Halloween one or like no, a legitimate no, haunted house? No, like a house that was like owned by the Ku Klux Klan at one point. Oh, oh, oh those weren't ghosts. <laughs> Actually, much scarier, and uh, they don't like shadow people either. So I was going up to the house, and there looked like there was an old man in the window. I bet there was. Well, I turned around to tell my friends about it, and I turned around, and he was like gone. And so I thought it was a ghost. It, I just felt a very haunted feeling. You all thinking I'm crazy or something? But I didn't feel haunted. Okay? No, they think you're racist. They don't think like you're. I don't think you're crazy. No, 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 no. You're, you're just fine. It's okay. Totally different thing. Different. 
different thing to be ashamed of. <laughs> it's all right. So did you get a chance to go inside the house? No, I ran from that house. You're probably not the first person. <laughs> So I'm, I'm glad that you are a believer and, and back me up that ghosts are fucking scary. <laughs> Monsters are scary too. I don't, I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to negate... Frankenstein, scary guy. That's not a real one. <laughs> Some monsters are fucking real. I'm defending you. You went to their house. <laughs> People are monsters. Has anybody ever dated somebody that was so religious that like you felt like it was kind of a hindrance to the relationship a little bit? Anybody? No? Nobody? Gay? Oh, you weren't going to heaven anyway, huh? <laughs> See you in hell, baby! Let's go! Dude, if hell's where all the gay people are at, sign me up! Bro, that shit about to be a party! Boyfriend? No? He's out of town. He's out of town? Well, who's this? <laughs> Mr. In Town. <laughs> How do you know this gentleman? My friend. Your friend? How do you guys know each other? Sports. Sports? <laughs> what sports you play? Flag football. Flag football? Without the L? <laughs> Come on, you guys. We're just having some fun. What is your name? Jordan. Jordan. Pleasure to meet you, Jordan. How? Do you know them? I met him in the men's restroom. You met him in the men's restroom? State your pronouns. You met the table full of women in the men's restroom? Men are in there on soft, okay? It's a very vulnerable place. Where are you ladies going? You guys going to the bathroom right now? Uh, say what's up to Big Ben for me. Ah, drama. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out! Come on! Why is it wet? Was it in your lap? <laughs> it's weed? Gotcha. Go ahead. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, shit. Look, it's the ghost of Antonio Brown. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Who brought that up here? Me! It was not you, bitch. <laughs> God. I feel like the only gift you give, there's no cure for. <laughs> for your birthday, you made me cookies? Thank you so much. Aww. You could give me some cake, too. You know? <laughs> if we talking pastries, you know. How, uh, how old are you turning? Old enough not to get pregnant. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Who's with you right here? My partner. Partner? Gay? Aww. Aww. Where'd you guys meet? On Tinder. On Tinder? For real? Yeah. Aww, man. We have an eight month old. You have an eight month old? No way. Where, uh, where'd you find it? 
Adoption? Okay, just making sure it wasn't also tampered. Like, I don't fucking know. So want to make sure. Let me make sure. An adoption tender, you just swipe it. No, yes, no. <laughs> Call it something cute like chicken tender, you know? <laughs> something kid friendly. Eight month old boy, girl. Girl, you don't know that. Canceled. <laughs> Eight month old girl, what's her name? Ariella. Ariella? That's the gayest name you could have chosen. White? Mixed. Mixed? You got a mixed baby. So it could be either area. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's best case scenario. <coughs> gay as well? Nice. Two lesbian, two gay. Bro, y'all should fist fight. <laughs> that would be fucking crazy. How long have you guys been together? Five years. Five years? Suck it. <laughs> as if that wasn't on the agenda. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What did you two mean? Online as well? Which one? Plenty of fish? <laughs> Which one? What, what, what was it? Her. I haven't heard of this. Is it all lesbian dating app? Now what's the format of that? Swipe left, swipe right. Swipe left, swipe right. Just get your fingers warmed up. Does your shirt say, build a bear my ass? <laughs> And there's another piece of paper underneath that says, squeaky titties ain't got nothing. <laughs> is there more? God damn, bitch, tweet me this. This is so much. Ain't got nothing on a purring pussy. Can you? Bitch, this is an essay. You guys can't see it. She's tearing away one paper at a time. Oh, you can see it. Oh, fantastic. Autograph my vagina. <laughs> Now that was fucking funny, her shirt says. The layer of jokes. Oh my God. What is your name? Dee Dee? Like double D? Wow, wow, wow. How old are you, Dee? You're 60? Get the fuck out of here. That's why the font was so big, huh? She, she couldn't read her own shit. One of them said, autograph my pussy with your dick. <laughs> you 60, DD. Who else's name is on there? <laughs> Fucking Honest Wagner? <laughs> Only the dudes get that as a baseball reference. He's very old, very old baseball player. How do you autograph a 60 year old's pussy? <laughs> with like a feather and ink? <laughs> What's that? What'd you say? The fuck? <laughs> calm that down, calm that down. Do you have a kitty noisemaker in your outfit? <laughs> Where is it? It's in your city? Shut up! Can you play, you play it into this? Even 60 year old pussy needs help making noise. That's incredible, dude. Boy up front, what, 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 if you had to choose, what would you say is your, is your biggest fear? Scare the dark too. Scare the dark too? Pussy, let's go. Let's go. That's us, man. You and I. Nightlight gang. Is this your lady? Girl, just girlfriend? And did you know he was afraid of the dark? It was a learning experience. It was a learning experience? Because I know how this experience went down. He stayed over at her house and kept the TV on, and she was like, how long are you gonna watch this movie for? And he was like, till the sun comes up, bitch, you go to sleep, okay? Do you know what your girl's biggest fear is? No, I don't. You don't know? Oh, man. Do you want to fill him in? Fish? How do you think he feels? And that's why you can't eat pussy in the dark. <laughs> Two fears coming together to make one. You guys are going to be okay.
Next time she acts up, dog, take this bitch to an aquarium. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, remember there's plenty of fish in the sea, okay? Both of you. It's cute, but also manageable, you know? You don't work near the dark, do you? You don't work a night shift or anything? Where do you work, my boy? Law enforcement. Law enforcement? So you really hate the dark. You can beat his ass if you want to, man. There's nobody gonna stop you. Not one person. It's our house tonight, all right? You can fuck him up, no consequences. <laughs> Sorry, you're just the only black dude within a hundred rows. So thank you very much, man. What was your name, bro? Sarge. Sarge, great to meet you. My Niagara. Appreciate you, Sarge. No gun. That's a walkie-talkie, all right? Chill the fuck out, fish boy. Bro, do you have on a cowboy hat? You waited a second like there was anybody else who was even possibly wearing a cowboy hat. What's your name, man? Who are you here with? My wife. What's your name, wife? Cassandra. Cassandra. Nice to meet you. Does he wear this all the time? Yeah, I got used to it. You got used to it. Isn't that what marriage is all about? You meet somebody and you get used to it. Do you have a, a cowboy job? You're a firefighter? When was the last fire that you fought? Literally yesterday? Man, I would love to believe you were white before you went in. And your name was Tyler. It was hot as a bitch in there, and he came out and he was like, it's Tyrone. That is awesome, man. Oh, firefighters are so cool. You ever been in a calendar? <laughs> no? Bro, what's your station called? Station two? Station two, gotta come out with a calendar, man. You, you gotta do February. It's Black History Month, in case you have any idea. Oh my God, that is embarrassing for y'all. Fuck. Hey, Cassandra, what do you do? You're a teacher? Man, isn't that crazy that that's way more dangerous than what he does? <laughs> what do you teach? Like, what, what grade? I'm with infants. You're with infants right now? You a babysitter. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? Cowboy. Why are you singing it? What's wrong with the cowboy? What's wrong with the cowboy? What in the Dixie chick is going on right now, dude? You got hair under there? Yeah. Nah, nah you ball? Oh, you hat fishing. It does look clean. Think about it. <laughs> she completely deaf. Anything. She can't hear anything? Oh. Ah! Is that fucked up? Is that wrong? Alright, alright, don't, don't, don't sign this one. Don't sign, no, don't fucking tell her not that you're not gonna sign it. No, don't read my lips. No. <laughs> Bitch. She's deaf, she didn't hear shit, hell yeah. Thank you so much. How do I say nice to meet you in sign language? Nice. I won. I cut her hearing aids off with the scissors. I got it, I fucking got it. You're so sweet. 
Oh, what's up, my man? I didn't even see you here. How you doing, brother? Doing good. How do you, man, the fact that you could hear better than her is insane to me, dude. How, how old are you? 73? Holy shit, man. Oh, my God. Did you, did you fight for the South or the North? My God. What, what is your name, brother? Bob. Pleasure to meet you, Bob. You're, uh, you're, you're retired now? What did you used to do? What was it? Sold carpet. Sold carpet? Yeah, nobody really shaved back then, huh? <laughs> the good old days, huh, Bob? Where are you from, brother? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio? I'm sorry. Oh, some people in here, okay? Pleasure to meet you, man. Bob, who, who are you here with today, Bob? Son and daughter. Son and daughter? Pleasure to meet you guys. Your dad's fucking awesome, man. He is awesome. 73? Holy shit. How long you been in the chair for? How long? 13 years. It's nice to just relax, isn't it? Optimism. Optimism Prime. <laughs> Transformers, Bob. It's a cartoon that they turn into a movie and the movie's inconsistent. You're not missing anything. You, you, drug, you drug them out the house to this? Oh my God, we thank you. you. Who said that? Who said they love Bob? Give him some pussy. Good. We're gonna put that dick in a splint. <laughs> We're just gonna... What are you afraid of, man? A bad hair day? <laughs> you handsome piece of shit. What's your biggest fear? Uh, sharks. Sharks. Valid. <laughs> yeah, fuck sharks, dude. <laughs> Did you know he was afraid of sharks? No, we haven't been to the ocean yet. You haven't been to the ocean yet? Yeah, that's not something you bring up on dry land. <laughs> Nobody's at the movies and it's like, yeah, I hate sharks. <laughs> You're like, we're seeing Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. How long have you guys been together? Uh, five, months. five months. Yeah, you don't bring up sharks yet. <laughs> that's that's year two shit. You get engaged first, then sharks. Yes, yeah, that way she can't leave you. She's like, she's she's too in at that point. Do you know what her biggest fear is? It's probably not good. Well, most fears aren't. That's why they're fears. What what is your biggest? <laughs> Some PBs and J's. Damn. We got Lunchables. You didn't confuse this with like a lunchbox you were supposed to give to a kid, right? <laughs> yeah, there's not, there's not a kid eating lunch at school right now, like chewing on a condom or some shit, right? Wrong box. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's condoms. <laughs> For white people. Um, that's cute. Wait, it's what? Oh, did you see it? Yeah. Fucking say something next time. We have big gnats here. They're like. The big gnats here? I think those are called flies. Dude, hold on. Dude, do I have it? Do I have it? Moment of truth. Yeah, drop it. Let's go. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> it fell out when I opened my hands. Damn, I'm an assassin, bro. I don't know if you're... Well, show's not going to get better than that. So I think we should all get out of here and go to fucking Bass Pro Shop or whatever you want to do. What's in there? Can I have it? Yeah. yeah. I'm a MILF. You're a MILF? With the oh. <laughs> Just because you got kids don't mean you're a MILF. Uh, Lunchables, thank you so much. All right, you don't need to hand, I can see there's a lot in here. You don't need to hand me all of them. Okay, thank you. Thank, all right, so we'll save some for your children, maybe. I'm going to put them back in here. Wow, look, it's a Missouri salad. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 
It's combos. Is a folder? Yeah. Is it your record? What the fuck is it? It's a sexual consent form. Sit down. This is legit. So it goes the sit down before you're not able to. So it's a, it's a legitimate sexual consent form. Um, the parties, this sexual consent form is made July 12th, oh, only today, huh? Damn, damn. Don't, it's tomorrow, I was open to it. Man. The proposer, and consenter, Matt Reif, not my signature, by the way, I want to be very, very clear about that. Uh, whereas the proposer and consenter are sexually attracted to each other. and would like to manifest that sexual attraction through participation in one or more sexual acts. Time. Therefore, the consent and proposer make their bodies available to each other for the aforesaid purpose from 11.30 p.m. on the date of July 12th till for a period of 24 hours. Let's change that to 24 minutes. Activities. Oh, there's a check. There's a checklist for activities that are approved. Uh, full body touching, check. Kissing, check. Digital penetration. What does that? What does that mean? Digitally. You put a USB in somebody's pussy. What does that mean? Fingers. Oh, digits. Oh. No. Uh, oral sex receiving, okay. Oral sex giving, I'm all right. The proposer is using the following methods of contraception on an ongoing basis. It just says, the pill. I don't trust that it's not just Tylenol. I'm just gonna process what we've been through in 14 minutes. I almost fell. I killed a bald eagle is what we're going to tell people. We're going to tell people it was, a, it was a dangerous animal. And I was raped on paper. <laughs> Exclusively dated women, which I get is confusing by the everything. And the only reason that I think people would believe that I've exclusively dated women is because I wear so much flannel. They must think, oh, he's a lesbian. I will ask you man to man, what, what would you say is your biggest fear? I don't like clowns. You don't like clowns either? Is, it, is this your lady you're with? Girlfriend, wife, uh, fiance. fiance, congratulations. Don't fuck it up. How, how long has it been together? Three years. And did you know he was afraid of clowns? You didn't? And you've been wearing all this makeup the whole time. You didn't know he was that afraid of clowns. You were about to marry a man you didn't know you couldn't take to the circus. <laughs> Seems like vital information. Do you guys have kids? Five? God. Okay. Demon children. Demon children? One lives in your dad's house. Is that your sister? There's three spirits. One, one's a guy, one's a woman, and one's a child. One got murdered. One got murdered. And one was a, a madam. And one's a, one was a madam. Sounds like your dad's running a whorehouse. Where does he live? I'm gonna check out these demons. These semen demons. Some of these throat ghosts. <laughs> it attacked two of the two of the tenants. Did they not pay? That's how it works. That's how a brothel works. I don't think you need an exorcism. I think you need a pimp. Somebody to keep shit in order. You know. No, that's actually not how it works. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. If you want to write the show for me, you can do it.
not how it works. And this is a, this is a, this is a super funny comment thing. People come to the show and they think because they just see crowd work online that that's like literally all the show is. Wrong. <laughs> it's a very small portion. And I've actually never really had a chance to explain this on stage. The reason I, I don't get I don't really get annoyed about that unless you keep doing it. Um, because I'm, I'm a lot of people's like first experience at a comedy show. I, I, I'm actually genuinely curious. Who here has never been to a comedy show before? See? see, a lot of people have no idea how it works. So the reason I post crowd work stuff is because you're coming to see me, right? And how comedy works is you, you for, for a year, sometimes two, three years, you work on building an hour long set of material, right? But when you do that, it takes so long to do that. So imagine if I posted the same jokes you'd already just seen. You'd be pretty pissed off if you just paid to see the exact same jokes you saw online, right? So crowd work is something that can't really be duplicated. So it's something that happens uniquely at each individual show. I get to share that experience. And you get to go, oh, he's funny. What else does he have? We'll go see him in fucking Salem. That's how it works. So we already did a little bit of crowd work. We'll see what happens later. If you can afford front row seats next time, maybe you'll be the one. <laughs> With five kids, too? God damn, man. Y'all should be in the back back, dog. Providing for a whole family out here. What do you do, by the way? Do you work? Are you a mom? You're a massage therapist? Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you work at her dad's house. <laughs> there, we did some crowd work. <laughs> Next time I really tried to date, I was in the sixth grade. And uh, the problem is, is and I also don't know why I look like this was taken in a hostage situation. <laughs> but it does. Middle of Missouri, a place called St. Clair, Missouri, which means, thank, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that got out, oh my gosh. <laughs> if there's a tractor parked out front, I'm like, oh, I know her, like that. <laughs> I got a fucking cowboy hat in here, what's up, dude? Looking good, oh, put that back on immediately. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize I was talking to a thumb, my bad. It's a good look for you, bro. I'm so jealous, I could never wear a cowboy hat, dude. I would, I would look like Heath Ledger butt fucks me in a mountain, dude. <laughs> I look, I look like I have a 10 gallon asshole. Like I could never pull off some shit like that. You don't have the head for it. I don't have the head for it? Oh, all this hair as I was getting away. Sorry. Sorry. Do you, do, you, do, you have, do you have a cowboy job? I do. What do you do? I am an investor in ranching. You're an investor in ranching. Like the dressing? <laughs> or like farms and shit? Farms and shit. How do you invest in a ranch? Like you like what? What are some qualifications? You gotta have the intelligence to invest. In <laughs> you just gotta sound like that. That's all you gotta do. So what are you looking to do? I tell you what. It's yours. It's yours. As much money as you want. <laughs> oh, man. Accent is so terrifying because, like, it's so endearing, but like, it feels like you could say the M word at any moment. I really could, dude. You're terrifying, bro. You're getting us in trouble. Getting who in trouble? Us men. Manly men. <laughs> First of all, check your tone, Doug Diggadone. <laughs> This is right. I'm trying to speak up for us, all right? I'm trying to help us out right now. There's nine of us in here. We need to unite, okay? You have weed right there? Can I have it? We don't smoke in Texas. Are you from Texas? Oh, that makes so much more sense, man. I thought you managed a fucking Texas roadhouse nearby or something. But you personally don't smoke? No, sir. Have you ever? I have. You were drunk when you did it? Are you drunk now? Double or nothing. You wanna hit? Come on, man. Come on. I'm gonna toss it to you.
Why are you treating me like I'm a cop right now? You're like, this is drugs I'm holding right now, and you want to watch me do it? Now make sure you're hitting the right end of it. Don't fucking, don't suck on the USB cord. Oh shit, oh shit, hey stop, 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 stop. Oh no, oh no, no! I need you to sign a waiver immediately, dude. We just killed a guy, dude. That was way too much. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. You know you're still standing, right? We actually didn't get your name. What was it? Okay. You mean like, THC? If your middle name is Henry, I'll lose it right now. Are you okay? Careful. What's your middle name, TC? Terry Cunningham, TC. Terry Cunningham. Real quick, what's your social security number? Who gave this to you? A stranger. <laughs> Who's from Texas? It's who you think's from Texas, man. Sit down, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm 65, she's 40. You're 65? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, you can, we can hear you if you sit down. You don't have to keep doing squats, man. The last time somebody was up here like this talking to him, he was in prison. He had to be like, Your Honor, I actually want to have to run. The other wife was 35. <laughs> I wonder, how, was that? February the 7th, I turned 65, and she's 41. And 41? Where did you guys meet? A lot of zeros. A lot of zeros? I think he said he bought her, dude. Wow. Some Texas traditions never die. That's crazy. He said, I got a dating app, it's called Chase Bank, bitch. What you doing? <laughs> what, man? I'm gonna say it helped. I'm hung like a mule. He said he's hung like a mule. You asked me why I'm 65, she's 41. Four questions ago I asked that. Why do you deserve this? Are you asking me why I think no. you deserve her? No. That's a deep you question. Year old. No, I'm asking how you met. I didn't say dessert. It wasn't that deep at all. Hey, cause you don't. <laughs> oh my god. Man. What's up, man? Why are you standing like you're doing magic right now? <laughs> this went right down my balls. All these bitches come. All these people forgot. Hey, look how big this fucking drink is right here. You got, that looks like the shit you throw on a head coach after you win the Super Bowl, bro. Your, yours is a different thing. That's a mule. That's a mule? No, that's a mule. <laughs> First off, no, you're not at church. I am sorry, but I know what I look like, okay? I'm acutely aware. If I come up here with an acoustic guitar, it's over. Yeah. How great is our God? Like, you can, you guys can see it, and I, I get it.